Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to do a video today um, about Banner Bear, which is an image and video processing API. So let's have a look at what that might be. If we go to image generation API and we go down, here we go, demo. Um, so what we've got here is a little example generator. Uh, we've got an, a background image. Uh, we've got a, uh, an image of a face. So let's choose man two and background's going to be a hotel. Um, the text is gonna be Vivamus something and our text can be um, Open Sans font. And let's press generate image. Okay, and there we go. That's all the options that we picked. In reality, in our app, this is going to be an image from our app. Uh, again, all of this will be dynamic, passed from our Adalo app, and our template could be completely different. Whatever you like, there is a lot of customization um, with Banner Bear. Um, so that's the image generation API. Um, there's one for video also, which I'll try and have a look at this. Um, this video also. Um, a note about pricing. Um, you've got three different tiers and here you've got different numbers of images um, and of minutes for video processing. Um, so yeah, take a look. There is a free trial as well. And let's get going on how to use it. So first you're gonna want to sign up, sign in, choose your plan or free trial. Um, and let's go back to Adalo now. Now, when you sign up, you can use this affiliate link here. If you would like to support my channel, that would be really appreciated. So, uh, we've got a blank app here, and all I've got is a user collection. So let's, um, uh, let's begin. Obviously, we're gonna want an image field, and let's just say, um, I don't know, it's a, a user image. And to start playing with this API, maybe we can just be transforming that image. And it could be an image, and it contains um, maybe the name of the user. Um, and I think, uh, really, on a basic level, that is enough to start with. So on our home page, let's have a form. It's going to be the user's collection. It's going to update the user. Um, with uh, their name and this image. Okay, and then um, not only is it going to update the user, we can also call a custom action to Banner Bear with that. So let's go back over to Banner Bear and integrate via API. So we need to get our API key. Um, get API key from your project settings API key. Um, so I'm going to create a project here, um, demo project. Okay, and here we have um, an example um, template. All right, so let's just click edit template here and have a look at what we get. And this is the template editor on Banner Bear. You can do them completely custom or follow a template that they've already got. Um, so we've got an image here which is called face um, and we've got all this text here okay and each of these is um, a different layer if you wanted to add a new one you'd click on the plus here um, you could have an image rectangle or an image circle um, lots of different uh, customization options and these are all dynamic options which means um, you can be updating them via the API. Okay, let's just say we're happy with that template. We'll just use that to start with. Save template. And exit editor. And um, let's grab all of this JSON body um, from down here. Okay, and back over in Adalo, let's um, create a new custom action. Um, banner bear, let's call it banner bear one, and it will be create. Okay, now let's put in that JSON body. 
down here. Okay, and the method is going to be post, and we're going to need an authorization header. Okay, and it will be bearer space your API key. Your API key is over, if you click on your project, you can see this button setting slash API key. And then you can just copy your project API key. Okay, so bearer space API key. And then we just want to have a couple of parameters here. Um, so we're going to have um, the name, for example, Nathan. And then we're going to have the image. Okay, and um, if we look here, um, what we copied over, we can just borrow their um, image link as our example value. Okay, and then let's replace that with the magic text. And up here, the text, let's again replace with magic text, which was the user name. <clears throat> and the last thing we need is the base URL. Okay, which looks like this one up here. So let's give it a go. Okay, and that seems to have worked. So in the full response to our API call, one thing you're going to notice is status is pending. Well, what's this mean? It means um, our image is not yet ready. Um, at the time of this call, it is not yet ready. And that particularly makes sense when you think about processing a video. It actually could take a while for Bandibar to process it. Um, so there's going to be another step to this. We're going to have to um, wait a little bit and then after that retrieve our image. And I believe this UID is what we're going to need to retrieve that image later. So let's save custom action. Okay, and make sure we've got um, the name is the user's name and the image is the logged in user image URL. Okay, and then add another action after that. Uh, but let's just create under user that field for UID. Okay, so going back. Um, update logged in user UID will be um, the result of this custom action. I called the action banner bear custom in the end. Okay, and put the UID in there. Okay, and over at the documentation, which is developers.bannerbear.com, um, you're probably going to need to be quite familiar with this. Okay, so over here, um, let's have a look at this, which is retrieve an image. Let's give this a go. Um, okay, so in our Adalo app, we'll have a second custom action. Okay, so... Um, here, let's go to a new screen now. Okay, and let's just have a back arrow in case we need. All right, now on this screen, I want a button, and I want this button to be retrieving our image. Okay, so we're going to have a new custom action banner bear retrieve and this can be a create action the method will be get okay and the base URL is what I've just copied over from the documentation okay and the parameter um, is that um, UID okay so um, let's have up here UID as an input. Okay, um, to get an example UID on the console here, let's send an API request. Okay, and let's copy a UID from up here. Okay, 
and then we should have something working um, for our custom action example. Okay, the method was get, and we need our authorization. Bearer space and API key. Okay, um, remember when copy and pasting into custom actions, um, there's a weird bug. So here I always delete the space and make it again. Okay, many people run into that really weird issue. Okay, so uh, we need to use that input, and I believe it's just up here in the URL, in the base URL. Okay, yeah, there we go, at the end. So let's run the test request. And we've got test successful. Okay, let's show the full response. And then here we go. We've got these image URLs. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to have to rebuild that. Okay, um, once we've saved our custom action, um, just make sure we're feeding in the UID okay, into that second custom action, which is our retrieve custom action. Okay, so if enough um, time has elapsed between our first custom action and the second one, um, the image should be retrieved without any issue. Um, if it were a video or something that takes longer, you're probably gonna need to implement some logic um, to either check that it's ready or to create a delay. Okay, so um, here we're going to retrieve that and then we're going to want to update logged in user image banner bear retrieve. Okay, I, I'm not sure if that's working, but we can try. Okay. So let's just make another property called image URL under user. And then we can have um, here an update image URL, banner bear retrieve, image URL, and then we can have JPG or PNG. Um, by the way, it's possible to create PDFs using banner bear, and all you'd need to do, if you look at the um, API reference, there's just another parameter that you can add, okay? So you just add render PDF to true. All right, so here you've got render PDF is false. Switch that to true and it should be returning you a PDF object. Okay, let's um, check out if this is working. And I guess what we'll want to do is just have that linked to a new screen uh, display. Okay, and then on this screen we can display an image um, by URL, and the URL will be the logged in user image URL. Okay, let's, um, we've done quite a lot, so let's test it all out and see how it goes. Okay, let's log in. Okay, my name is Nathan, and let's put in uh, an example image. and hit update. This should run our first custom action. Okay, so that should have run, and now let's run our retrieve action. And there we go, perfect. Okay, so that whole process is run, and we've um, been given back um, this API generated image. It's got our input image in the corner. Um, it's got our text up here. Um, so yeah, we got there. Um, and if we go back, we can see that there's so much customization here. Let's go back to Banner Bear. And we can see we have this welcome template. If we go over to templates, just to give you an idea of what's possible. These are all um, sort of preset designs that you might want to use many different styles. 
but you can just start with a blank template and design it entirely by scratch yourself. Okay, um, now it wants me to upgrade the account just because I think um, there's a maximum of maybe one or two templates on um, the sort of free try it out account. Okay, um, um, now there's so much you could do that I don't think I can really cover it um, in this video, it will get too long. But if you go over to the developers area, you can see um, there's something for uh, videos, for animated GIFs, for screenshots, a lot of really exciting things. So um, I hope that gives you a good basis of how it's done. And I think there are all sorts of cool use cases people um, can use that for. Okay, um, so that's about it really. If anyone's got any questions, please let me know. And don't forget, if you would like to support the channel, please make sure you're using this link here, which I will also put in the description. Okay, thank you everyone. See you next time.